Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Excuse me, can I get through, please? Thank you. Oh, thank goodness, the doctor. I'll take it, you're the driver. One minute the road was clear, and next thing I know, this cow just jumped out in front of me. Jumps? How strange Daisy isn't known for her suicide bids. I'm a vet, not a doctor. Femi, how are you? Let's have a look at the old girl, shall we? How much damage to your car? That is not my car, that's hired. I've got a flat tyre and apparently there's no spare. I mean, what speed were you doing when you hit Daisy here? I barely grazed the bleeding thing. I don't know what the fuss is about. Get up, you stupid cow. What? I think she's in shock. Of course I'm in shock. Look at me. I'm shaking. I meant the cow. I'm going to give her a little painkiller to ease the bruising. She should be right as rain in a couple of hours. You wouldn't happen to have a headache tablet in there by any chance? I've got some hippo tranquilizer, if that would help. Actually, it's fine. Listening to you drone on seems to be dulling my senses quite nicely. So, tell me, how did you manage to miss a cow that was standing in the middle of the road? Well, I'm lost, aren't I? I was trying to read my map. Oh, I see. So you weren't looking at the road. Well, what's a cow do in the middle of a built-up area anyway? Well, as you can see, this is hardly the King's Road. I am painfully aware of that. You know, you're lucky it wasn't a buffalo. Or a child. If she's not on her feet in a couple of hours, give me another ring and I'll come back and see her. But I think she's going to be fine. Thank you very much. Oh, no problem. Thank you. you take care, both of you. OK. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I really am. Listen, no, I'm sorry. It's just, well, everything's just so different over here. I wasn't thinking. Where are you headed? Maybe I can give you a lift. Actually, I'd better wait for the spare. I should just leave it here in case, you know. In case Femi and his friends steal your tires. Exactly. Thanks all the same. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. OK. I love you. Bye. What was that? <sighs> Apparently the kids are having a great time with Simon. Evan's just asked if they can stay another week. Ah. He's promised to take them to Disneyland Paris. Provider's all right with me. Oh, what did you say? Oh, what could I say? That sounded like the bad guy. Anyway, it's fine, isn't it? It's nothing. Another week. There. What do you think? Well, I've been saying this place needs brightening up for ages. Well, I couldn't oh. justify it before, but those referral bookings from Creel are a godsend. Honestly, some people... What's the matter? Oh, this tourist in the township hit a cow. What? Punched it? I mean, these people, they think they're so superior. The fact is, they haven't got a clue. Oh, that'll be the Chapmans. How do I look? Oh, what am I asking you for? Sarah? Yes, you look fine. Why? Ah, Mrs Chapman happens to be reviewing a number of game reserves for a very upmarket travel magazine. Oh, great. She's a journalist. Surprise! Mother, why didn't you tell me? Because I knew this is how you'd react. Relax. I can deal with her. Just make sure she has a holiday of a lifetime. They will have an experience they will never forget. In a good way, obviously. <laughs> 
Good morning, by the way. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't stop earlier. It's been like this for months. You need to take a break, Danny. How oh, can I? Evan just called. They want to stay awake for an extra week. Ouch. I know. Then again, an extra week without the kids could have its compensations. Mm. Danny, it's Elliot. We have an emergency. Over. <laughs> Creel, it's Danny, what's the problem? Over. to do that yesterday. This is supposed to be luxury logic. Well, try telling the bush pigs that. It stinks. I'm sure the bush pigs say the same about yours. Yes, thank you, Anders. Hello. <laughs> you must be Catherine. Hi. <laughs> and Ian, Hi. welcome to Leopard's Den. We pride ourselves on being one of the premier destinations. Yes, yes, for... we know, the big five. You're on a mission to save the animals. It's all very worthy, except you and I know perfectly well this is a business. I'm here to review it, and you're here to impress me. Right. <laughs> Although I do think that you'll find that... Please don't. Den. I'm not about to have a life-changing experience. And if you try to sell me one, I'll only find it irritating. Rosie! Do get in! Creel and Fatali have found a Roy cat in a snare. We have to go now. Okay. Point me to my champagne on arrival. <laughs> yes. Uh, this way. You deal with that. I'll look out for predators. Yeah, thanks. I'll wait in the vehicle. Monitor the radios. How does it look? Oh, she's in a bad way. The real question is whether it'd be kinder to try and save her or put her out of her misery. You're the expert. Whatever option you decide is the most humane. Rosie. First, we remove the snare, then we debride the wound and suture off. Yeah, I know. Back at the surgery, we can supply antibiotics and pain relief, and with any luck, she'll survive. I can do this, Dad. All right, get that snare off and get some fluids into her. Well, you don't carry antibiotics with you? Antibiotics, no. Painkillers, yes, but I used it up earlier. What we really need is a fully functioning animal ambulance. Well, maybe we should get one. Oh, yeah, right. Hook the saline up there. Sorry, I don't understand. Why not? Oh, no, don't get me wrong. I'd love an ambulance, but the expense... I mean, to justify and run something like that, you probably need the hospital to go with it. Now flush out the wound. I mean, there isn't a facility like that for two, three hundred miles at least. Well, in that case, my friend, I think we should build one. Don't you? Come on. I know you're there. Joint Mara Leopard's Den Animal Hospital, taking in wildlife from around the whole region. Once the animals are rehabilitated... We release them into the Joint Reserve, exactly. <sighs> Sounds wonderful. It really does, but I just don't have the money to come Let in Let me something. worry about the money. You bring in something far more valuable. Your expertise and your commitment. I want you to plan it, set it up, and then run it. 